shock. In fact, it was Melbourne's performance late in the third quarter that got them back on track. Darren Bennett's been in excellent form this season. Only kicked a couple yesterday, but that's uh, one of the features of his game, that he can kick long goals. Brian Wilson, the opportunist. We saw three amazing goals out at Princess Park off the ground. There was one by Wilson. At the... And look, maybe like they're going to cause an upset, but uh, once again, that spirit has become a trade or a hallmark of the Melbourne club surface. A few positional changes. Bennett came out to centre half forward, and Scotty might be able to get a bit of insight into Darren Bennett. He He's far more mobile. When he slips himself, he can run a bit there, and he really opened up the forward line. He's one kick in the middle. Actually, I was surprised he didn't do it last year, but I was noticeable last last week against this, and he chased Terry Danaher, uh, no, not Terry, uh, Anthony Danaher, right out the centre wing, and showed that he can do it when he wants to. He's got a good football brain too, Ben. And of course, they uh, Jim Steins had battled very hard in the ruck for the first half because O'Dwyer was a late withdrawal. He uh, nearly plonked him down in the forward pocket, put Spalding into the ruck, and Jimmy Steins just displayed some of his great talents that he's developed since coming over to Ireland, from Ireland I mean, kicked two valuable goals and set them alight. You're a state selector and one guy I'd love to see in the state side, you and Ron, if you know anything about football, might put him in. Brett Lovett. Yeah, put him in, he was in the last two years. Oh, yeah. No, you're going to put him in again. <laughs> oh, I, I you never that. do give any thought to Is anything he you say. Oh, he's got to be a big champion. I think Brett Lovett. How was his form isn't yesterday? His form wasn't fantastic yesterday. He was a, a serviceable player, started in the centre and then went back to the back flank but so far this year they've used him well in the centre. He's a very creative play. I like him a little bit when he's on form to uh, Greg Williams. He's as, just as constructive and um, I think he'll be really up for uh, selection again. Well, my nickname for him is he's a mini Bruce Duell. He just does things, so, distributes the ball in such a cool, calm and calm. Just a, uh, a real inspiration for Melbourne, particularly when they weren't going well in the first half, he, uh, but he kept going. The only four-quarter player for the day, Gary Lyon returned to form at centre-half back, a, a great player, and Ross Lyon finished with five and displayed great skill all day. OK, so Campbell and Brett Lovett again in good form there, and Andrew Ops from Knight Steins all on five. And Bradley Klein, he's a very smart half for the old school. And and big Jimmy Steins, with the mobility for a big man. Certainly the most valuable big player in the game. It's an even money bet who will be 